एवरीवन माय नेम इज तनवी दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ माय पोस्ट लैंडिंग सीरीज विद ऑक्सलो फाइनेंस ऑफ माय एकेडमिक जर्नी फ्रॉम इंडिया टू कनाडा इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोस वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स द फर्स्ट वीडियो फोकस्ड अपॉन ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू डू वाइल गेटिंग एट इमिग्रेशन एट द कैनेडियन एयरपोर्ट द सेकेंड वीडियो फोकस्ड अपॉन फाइंडिंग अकोमोडेशन नाउ This is the third video and in this video we are going to be talking about some of the important documents that you need to have in place as soon as you land in Canada. Now, some of these documents are uh, common for all the all across the country, but some of the documents vary from province to province or state to state. So, which is which are the some of the common documents? Let's look at those documents first. Uh the first is your SIN number or what you call as the social insurance number or the SIN number. This is exactly like our Aadhaar card number. This number is important, and any person who lands in Canada, whether a student or a permanent residence or even somebody who is employed over here, absolutely needs to have this SIN number. How do you do that? You go to this place called Service Canada. If you Google Service Canada locations in your city, they will easily pop up on your map. You do not have to make any appointment for, uh, in order to get your SIN number. You just walk into three these clinics, uh, say that you want to get your SIN number done. Remember to carry your study permit, your passport, and all the other important documents like your identity documents, your letter of acceptance from the university. Basically, any proof to show that you are now a part of the Canadian education system or the work system. Your SIN number will be issued to you that day itself. Again. remember to cross verify all the information as you can uh, and if there are any spelling mistakes mistakes in your date of birth or whatever you get it corrected then and there uh once you get your sin number remember the sin number is not to be disclosed to any other person apart from your employers you do not disclose your sin number you will receive a lot of scam calls do not disclose your sin number to them After that what is the second most common document that you could get all across Canada well that is that depends again on province to province but each province will have your identity card now as international students it's very difficult to carry your passports everywhere once you get a, your i card from the university that only becomes one proof and in most places uh, if you have to buy liquor if you have to go to the places that serve liquor you would require two pieces of government id So the second thing that you need to get is your identity card. Now, I am in British Columbia so they issue something called as the BC ID or the British Columbia uh, identity card. This is this becomes your primary ID uh, which will have your uh, which will have your photo, your address and all the important details. When you switch the address, you just inform them that you have switched the address and they will issue a new BC card to you. So now where do you go to get this? uh for for instance because like i said i am in british columbia so i would go to service bc that is service british columbia again you have to google the nearest service bc or whichever province you are in nearest service center for your province you again you do not have to make an appointment you just walk in you tell them that this is what you have to do again carry all your important documents including your sin number this time because you might need it right and this process would take about 1 to 2 hours depending on how many people are there at the service center once you get that done again it's important to cross verify each and every detail printed on the paper so you can rectify it as soon as possible bc id takes about 1 month to be issued again it the, uh, the issuing time might vary from province to province and depending on how many requests that they are getting the second most important thing that you need to remember is to be on the health insurance Again, in British Columbia, health insurance is something which is mandatory for all international students. So, and this insurance, health insurance, takes three months to be issued. So, you have to be extremely cognizant of the fact so that you have to land. Once you get your SIN number, you will be able to get your BC Services card, your so your BC ID, and the Services card, which is your health insurance card as well. Again. This process uh, goes hand in hand with getting your identity card, your province identity card, mostly. So you need to tell them what all documents or what all cards you need to get issued, and this becomes a secondary or the second piece of ID, your government ID. And till the time your health insurance should ideally be covered by your educational institute or your um, uh, or your employer, till the time you be, uh, you are on that new health insurance. Now you might also want to get your driving uh, test done. You want you might also want to get your driving license done. Uh, that and again, 
this driving license uh, test is very different from most Indian cities. You do have to give, a, you have to have a written exam, and then you have to actually do the practicals. And mostly, they again the results is something that you get on that day itself. So these are some of the important documents. Stay tuned for our next video because we are going to be talking about so many important things uh, for you.